Hello scholars, it's me, Miss Hickson, here to go through the steps on how to solve two digit by two digit multiplication. For example, 35 times 72. And today we're going to use the box model strategy and decomposition. So the first step in the box model is to take each factor and put them in expanded form to see the value of each of the digits. So the first number 35, we have the three is worth 30 plus the five ones. And then I'm going to put it, I'm not gonna put the box quite yet. And then our next number, I'm gonna put along the side because what we're doing with the box model is showing it as an area of a box to keep it nice and organized. So along the side, I have seven tens or 70 plus two ones plus two ones. So in my box, you can see we have four sections because there's four digits and each one is going to be multiplied by the other number. I already should put the one in the bottom. There you go. So first we're going to find the length and the width of this box. So we have on top is 30. Then we're going to multiply it by the width, 70. Here we have 5 for the length and we're going to multiply it by 70 for the width. On top here, our our length is 30, and we're going to multiply it by 2, our width. Top here we have 5 for our length, and over here we have 2 for our width. Alright, so um, both of these I see have a 3, so I'm going to just skip count by 3s to help me to do 30 times 70 and 30 times 2. So, skip count 3. 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33. Okay, in this box we have 30 times 70. So I need seven groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, which is 21. But since I'm doing a 10, so 30, is, that doesn't know, is a 10, times another 10, it's going to equal in the hundreds. So I need two zeros to represent my answer is in the hundreds. All right, down here I have 30 times 2. And here I'm going to find three, two groups of 3. 1, 2, which is 6. And here I was doing a one-digit number times a 10, so I need to make this 60 to represent that I was multiplying it by a 10. Okay, for this one, I have a 5 here and a 5 here, so I'm going to skip count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 40. Okay, 5 times 7, so I need 7 groups. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 35. And here I'm also multiplying by a 10 again, and a 10 times a 1 is going to equal in the tens place. So I'm going to put a 0 there to represent that I'm multiplying it by a 10. And the last one is 5 times 2, 1, 2, 10. Both of these are 1s, so our answer is so now that I have all the partial products, now I'm going to add them up, making sure that I line up my digits. So 2,100, 350, 60, 10. Add them all up. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. I'm going to add 1 plus 5 first to make it 6, because then I'll have a double. So 1 plus 5 is 6. And then 6 plus 6 is 12. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 3 is 5. And then 2 plus nothing is 2. So our product is 2,520.
All right, so let's look at how we would do the same problem. I'm going to rewrite it down here. 35 times 72 using the decomposition strategy. So our first step is to still put them in expanded form, each factor in expanded form. So here I have 35 or 30 plus 5. And then I'm going to multiply this by 70 plus 2, or 72. All right, so I'm going to take my first factor, and I'm going to take the 30 first, and I'm going to multiply the 30 by each number in the other factor. So I'm going to do 30 times 70, and then 30 times 2. Okay, let me switch up my colors. Then I'm going to take the next number in this factor and multiply it by each number in the other factor. So we're going to do 5 times 70 and 5 times 2. Okay, I'm going to use the same list of multiples up here, but if I was doing this problem over again, I would write my list of multiples again to do 3 times 7 or 30 times 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Again, because we're multiplying a 10 times a 10, so our answer is going to be in the hundreds. And so we have 21 hundreds or 2,100. Next time, next one we have is 30 times 3, 1, 2, 6. And since we're multiplying by a 10, we have another zero. Next one, we have five times 70. So go back up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35. Since we're multiplying by 10, it's 350 or 35 tens. Last one is five times two. One, two. And then I'm going to do for my last step, now that I have all the products, I'm going to rewrite them to line up my digits. And one fifty ten. And add them up. One plus five is six. Six plus six is twelve. One plus one is two. Plus three is five. Two plus nine is two. Our answer is. 2,520. Hope you enjoyed the video.